I'm doing an emergency streaming because this was hilarious to me. So I'm not going to use my troll avatar. You're just going to have to close your eyes and imagine it in all its glory. Uh, but this is absolutely beautiful because I've heard stories about this chat. Uh, they were used to be called concerned citizen letters. They existed before social media and were mostly written by what, what I like to call the piety warriors. And they usually didn't like uh, any type of cursing like bad language, or violence. Uh, and, and again, I don't know what's about Americans. Like, why do they have to take moral busybodiness to an extreme? Like, it's okay to be moral busybodiness, but it needs to have a limit. But with Americans, like, they created the the piety warriors that then created the social justice activists. Because this is what happens. Like, if you're an overbearing parent, if, if you're trying to stuff down morality down your kid's throat 24-7 and even, like, harmless things you are considered them like they're the work of Satan, what usually is going to happen is you're going to get resentment and your kid is going to do the exact opposite. Which is probably what's happening now. Like a lot of social justice activists were parents and now the kids find that insufferable so they're going to become piety warriors in turn. Um, I don't know who started the prohibition, but like, again, why does it have to be this extreme? Why, why, why can't you just, you know, still be moral busybodies? Like I'm not saying you shouldn't, but like have a little bit of moderation so what is this about? Well, apparently, we don't really know the context because it only says that uh, it's about a son, but we don't know the age of him. So he could be like five, he could be 16, he could be 25, like we don't know. But apparently he purchased, um, apparently like some lewd posters from an anime company that weren't mature. So like the drawings weren't 18 plus. They were just risque. It's kind of like, uh, you know, America used to have, like, the Victoria's Secret catalog. Pretty much like that. But I guess you're not allowed to draw it, right? Like, you need to actually get a real woman, like someone's daughter, and take pictures of her in lingerie, and, and then that's fine. But if it's a Japanese drawing, then that's freaky. That That is the work of Satan. Uh, <laughs> I genuinely don't understand this. But anyway, right. The thing that actually made me want to make the video isn't the fact, like there's someone that sent a religious manifesto to the company, um, is the fact that I'm noticing Christian themes mixed with woke themes. And I find this absolutely disgusting, you know, because, like, as a Christian, I understand why you wouldn't want something like this. It, it's like, okay, so it's lewd, it's titillating, uh, even if it's, like, a fully clothed character, even if it's, like, fully dressed adult, you don't like it, right? Like, you're, you're pretty much up there next to Sharia. Like, like not, not really getting that extra step. But you're kind of there. I just want to point out, you know, like, like, there is a difference between, like, explicit pornographic acts and just, like, a fully clothed woman that uh, even Americans in World War II used to draw on their fighter planes. Like, they, they also had, like, cartoon characters with sexy babes in their army recruitments and shit. Well, like, most people are fine with that, right? Like, we're not that extreme. Like, I understand, like, some people are fighting degeneracy. But, again, like, at least put a limit to it, you know? Like, don't, don't try to, like, completely eradicate it because you're never going to be successful and you're just going to have people laughing at you. Um, but anyway, right, so the reason that I find it concerning is that from a Christian point of view, the reason this is bad is because it uh, leads people to sin. It makes people sit in their heart, right? Like any type of masturbation, especially for the Catholics and the evangelicals, it's, it's really bad. It's bad for the Orthodox as well, but not to that extent. Um, so, you know, any type of lewd image is not okay. Uh, but for the left, they have a different reason why this is bad. And, and their reasoning is that it somehow objectifies women, it creates the male gaze, and it leads to rape culture. Like, they created this idea that if men see women in lewd positions, whether it's in a comic book, you know, like X-Men used to have, like, women in skin-tight suits, uh, or Catwoman from Batman, or Batgirl, you know, like, Americans have this shit as well, it's just a different style. But anyway, right, if you see that, you start disrespecting women. I don't know where they came up with this, or, or why they think it's a thing. Do women have an equivalent, though? Like, like if a woman reads Fifty Shades of Grey, does she start hating men? If, if a woman watches football and she sees, like, these uh, athletes in pecs, does she start hating men? Like, like is there an equivalent for women? Or, or is it only men that are uh, subjugated by, by this uh, yolk? It's like, if you, if you see sexy women, then, then you become a misogynist. And, and another question, what if you actually see this in your real life? 
<coughs> like, this is another interesting thing. Um, if you have a girlfriend that's literally like this, do you also start disrespecting women? Like, how exactly does it work? I'm pretty sure, like, they have their studies from their academia and blah, blah, blah. But, like, every person is different, right? So, like, people will react differently to the same thing. The, the interesting thing is you can't debunk it. Like, there is no way you can debunk it. If you like lewdness, they will call you an incel and a virgin. And if you're married, they will say, oh, well, if you're married, why are you into this thing? Like, there is no acceptable thing for you to like. It. It's kind of like a woman trying to debunk rape culture, right? Like, if you're not a woman and you're trying to debunk it, it's your mansplaining. And if you're a woman, it's uh, internalized misogyny. Like, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, it's not going to cut it. And it's the same with this thing, right? Like, like if you're having a poster like this, well, it's not okay <clears throat> because you're an incel. If you're married and your wife is okay with it, well, why is she okay with it? What type of relationship? What, what degeneracy is this? And again, it's not an adult poster. Like, it's no different than a Victoria's Secret catalog or but whatever. You know, neither here nor there. Uh, regarding what I think about this, I don't know the age of the son, right? So, like, if the son is already 18... And the mother is this controlling. She's failing as a parent. Like, there needs to come a time where you just allow your child to become an adult. Right? So, that would be the first thing. Now, now if he is underage, then she has all right to control what he purchases. Take into account he may hate you later if you're being unreasonable. But it is her right to, to control his purchases. The question is, like, where did he got the money from? I mean, most kids don't have credit cards, right? So, like, wh where was he able to have the body in order to make this transaction happen? Um, but while she is in the right to do this, sending a religious manifesto to the company is a little bit unhinged. Like, what what exactly do they think they are accomplishing by this? Like, do you think the multi-million dollar corporation is going to say, you know what, fuck it, our entire business model is wrong. Yes, we're, we're going to stop... I wish we had the thought about it. I wish we had found Jesus. Like, like, this is literally like sending a concerned citizen letter to DC Comics for having Catwoman in leather. You know, it's exactly the same thing. Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Uh, they actually did use to send to Star Trek, I believe. They sent concerned citizen letter where they had the uh, two girls kissing. Or was it an interracial kiss? I don't know what. And uh, the person said, okay, so you're saying that if these two characters would have fired phasers at each other and killed themselves, that would have been good. But having a kiss between two people, that is not uh, accepting to, to Jesus. The thing is, if you actually apply the Bible, almost all entertainment will be banned. Almost everything. Like, like the Bible does not allow you to watch violence because you're sitting with your mind. Like, you're, you're not supposed to watch violent movies. You're not supposed to watch uh, violent, to, to play violent video games. Uh, you're not supposed to uh, watch anything that may arouse you. Uh, like, like, this is what I notice. It's like they pick and choose what they want and what don't want to. Like, how much do you want to bet this lady probably doesn't even fast? But it's the type of people that take Christianity as a cloak in order to justify them feeling superior to other people. Because, like... This is not about her education to her kid. It's about her lecturing the company, right? So it's like, oh, your body belongs to God. You're not your own. He paid the price for it by dying on your cross. He suffered for you. And the picture you draw are not respecting the body. They undermine women. A woman should be cherished and lived in a respectful way. This is a cat lady. This is a cat lady. And again, I don't understand. How exactly does it undermine women? And why is it that this, these letters... Uh, never appear to boy bands, never appear to hip-hop uh, hip hop actors, right? Like, if you think this is bad, and, and I noticed, like, there, there's a push against anime recently, which started with Vice magazine, and it, it, it's also, like, against anime women with big tits, right? Like, commercial anime. It's, it's not like the underground type of anime that you find on obscure websites. No, it's, like, just, like, mainstream, over-the-table anime. There's a push against that. And, and my question is, why Why are you not having the same energy towards hip-hop music? Like, hip-hop music also sexualizes women. I mean, have you seen what as pussy, right? And not only that, they glorify uh, gang violence. They glorify a lot of shit. What is the energy over there? Like, not, not even a peep. Not, like, how are they so protected? 
Why is it that hip-hop is the only thing above criticism? Like, okay, Stellar Blade gets criticized. Uh, My Hero Academia gets criticized. All of these anime get, get criticized. However, for some reason, hip-hop music presses on. What is their secret? I want to know. Let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.